Oh, hey everybody! Okay, once again, I need to turn everything down so that I can hear myself think. This can be a little loud, but I also want you to be able to hear when the voice actors actually voice act. Hold on. Okay, I think we're good. Y'all let me know how the audio mixing is, and I'll fiddle with it! I'm gonna jump in. Also, I have a teddy bear newbie dooby doo with me. Hi, newbie. Newbie says hello to everybody. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, which is my latest? I think it's this one. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, um, so last we left our heroes, Leon got murked. Oh, wait, I'm on auto. No, no. Monokuma, let me give a, a, a flashback of what happened. Okay. Uh, yeah, Leon got murked because it turned out he was the big bad guy, but he wasn't really that bad. It was in self-defense, but rules are rules, and if you kill somebody... We all have to uh, decide whether or not you were the one who killed somebody. And if we find you guilty, and Leon was, uh, you die. And it turns out Monokuma has all sorts of exciting and uh, creative ways to kill each and every one of us individually. <laughs> Leon's involved a uh, batting robot cage thing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the long and short of it. This is the aftermath of us watching somebody die like that. Uh, let's see what happens. Man, my adrenaline is pumping right out of control! Okay, I'm predicting the green suit blonde guy will be the next murderer, and the weed man will be the one getting killed. Oh god. Why do I feel like Hifumi is just ripe for murder? What's going on? Okay, she's my least favorite. I can't take it. Do we really have to keep doing this? I just can't take it! Well... Well, hey! If you don't like it... <laughs> all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever! But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thank you, Monokuma. Man, F you! Why the F are you doing all this evil S to us? Man, you trying to get me in trouble. Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. What? Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. So, uh, why are you putting an upstanding young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey. It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Um, hey, I don't think what you're saying or what I'm saying quite fit together. You piece of ass. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ASS into the ground. You must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. What happened? Happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course we can't cut free of the outside place. Oh, no, uh, of course we can't cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. 
you'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What are you trying to say? I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, chills, kills! Anyway, let's get to the Blackens' punishment! That's what everyone is waiting for! Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say! I need to save some for fun later! <laughs> Bella is on the chamber trying to figure out who's the posterior <laughs> sinner. <laughs> And just like that, he was gone. He left us there. Oh, by the way, hey, Sora, thank you so much for the art today. It was so cute. Yeah, uh, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Off we go. I was fighting a sneeze this whole time. I think I won. Kyoko is the most dangerous for the killers. If I were there, I would try to kill her. She's smart. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. Oh, no, no, I wasn't saying. Actually, no. Ah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. I really feel like this is some kind of fallout situation. Oh no! Rock Lee is not happy. Yukio is not happy. Uh, I don't know. Fruits Basket is not happy. No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone. Their voices dead. But it was in that moment... Hello, how are things going on here? Hoping the Eldritch Goddess from the last city has had eaten us. <laughs> you know what? I think maybe that's what happened in this game. The Eldritch uh, got, like, giantess ate the planet, and this is just kind of like the lone survivors. There you go. Fingers crossed for an alternative ending one day. <laughs> she moved in close and whispered into my ear. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayaka, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double-cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why... As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. Girl, I... She's upsetting Newbie. Do y'all hear this? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Sayaka would know for sure. And we can't ask her now. Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. So... The fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care... What happened to you? She never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed certainly. her. That's certainly one possibility, but I don't think that's what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon. Well, Leon was not our friend, to be fair. And keep moving forward. Right. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free of such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. Yeah, we all have really bad PTSD right now, Kyoko. I'm going to carry them with me for the rest of my life. We can't ask her now, or can we, to the time machine? <laughs> yes! How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon Sayaka. I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go! Man, you already- yeah, you got that PTSD, something bad. Well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest hey. smile. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well... I'm psychic! What? <laughs> oh, kidding, I just have pretty good intuition. Oh, no, it's so sad! Oh, for those who don't know, that's what Sayaka used to say to us all the time. Oof. 
We are down to 12 surviving students, y'all. To be continued. Oh, teddy bear is so bad. We got the despair bat present. Let's give it to one of our friends. Hey, here's the bat that the teddy bear used to kill Leon. Hold on, newbie's crunching on something. What do you got, buddy? What did you get? Newbie! Our bear creature. He, he has gotten into the trash. No, baby, you can't have that. Hang out in the house. Hang out in the house, big bear. Perks of playing games with a newbie bear. Okay. There we go. The stream is lagging pretty bad. Okay. Here, let me take my phone off of Wi-Fi. That might help. All right, let me know if that works. There, yeah, but I took my phone off the Wi-Fi. Let me know. If worse comes to worse, what I can maybe do is go downstairs and check on the switch. The switch being on might also be messing with it. Yeah, I'm starting to see lag on my... Yeah, it stutters constantly. Okay, here, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to turn off my switch. And we'll see if that helps. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hey, let me know if the uh, stream is better now. I turned off like a bunch of Wi-Fi objects. Uh, don't know if it makes me wish I was a dinosaur so I could be treated by her. I wonder if dino trucks would need paleo mechanics while we're on the subject. Oh, I'm not sure. That would be interesting. Makes me think of the Paradox Pokemon. It's better. Yay. Alright, now I must release the bear. Or he will be having a very vocal protest throughout stream. I keep saying it, but Perks is living in a zoo. Alright, newbie. Maybe guess whose ball I found. Is it yours? Yay! Okay, back to the murder mystery. Newbie. Newbie, I gave you a ball. And I got, like, a whole pack of carrots with me. This is newbie bribery. He absolutely adores carrots. Okay. Can I go into the bathroom? Can I go? She's still- Oh, they cleaned it! It's gone. She really is gone. Thank God. It's actually a pretty decent bathroom. It's almost like there was nothing, anything- There was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. So. 
After the class trial, before we took our uh, took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the what corpses. Are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just enough of just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is thanks enough for me. Forgot the murder mystery. Stream the dog. The doggies are amazing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You could probably hear Newbie crunching over here, eating, eating his baby carrots. Usually he likes the big carrots, but I have baby carrots today. I'm sure that's exactly what he did. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Newbie, is that a ball? Newbie gave me a ball, everybody. Sorry I'm late. Well, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? You sure took your sweet time? I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. Sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Man, you take hey, no social on. cues. Okay, yeah. Listen to Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! knows. Noobs takes a solid 40% of streams for himself and does not deserve any more. <laughs> Jesus, that's effed up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? While staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything. Man, we are just like... 12 hours from the murder? Are you saying cheer up? I ain't about to cheer up. No human would cheer up in this instance. If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. So, everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Girl, you're fighting. You're fighting it. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? We are already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's just a question of when, not if the next one takes place. I also saw your two of your uh, Xenomorph videos, and I made a comment as the Xenomorph telling the girl, Hey, you are my pet. Understand? I mean, they are the perfect organ <laughs> organism after all. Yes. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Rock Lee is already showing his psychopathy. No, I think he's just socially awkward. Like, I think he didn't really have good socialization growing up, and that's why he's, like, so, I don't know, moralistic, you know, high-strung, very lawful. I, I really do feel like he is just a socially weird dude. <laughs> AoE is insane. Yeah, glad to see everyone is morning in a healthy fashion hey burns yeah <laughs> yeah sure keep defending i will defend rockley until he proves to me otherwise that he is not a good person <laughs> well. but if we work together against the mastermind no one nobody will have any reason to do something like that keep telling yourself that i'll be over here in the real world working together fighting a common enemy like it or not it's not that simple um. Are you okay with the me? mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever su suspected. They <coughs> took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. The cherry on the top is the execution we witnessed. Oh, okay. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Yeah, d AoE is definitely in denial. I, I think she just has like that toxic kind of I gotta cover up my pain and keep going mentality. And let me tell you, it does not work. You know, just shoving it down, repressing it does not work. Then what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to, to deceive those around you and win the game. No. Oh, Chihiro. What? No, what? I don't want to live if it, it means killing somebody else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Anyone else? What do you mean? Because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. Oh. 
if we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So She's see. right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Jihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We have no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Matakuma who ultimately killed Leon. So, don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind! My, my old college had that. Every noon. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, newbie, down. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. Newbie, it is down. now 10 p.m. Even Sasha Mean from Psychonaut said, if you try to suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build up and build up and eventually explode. At I night, love Psychonauts. It is officially night time. Down, newbie. I love Psychonauts. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Sasha 9. There it is. Oh, and one other thing. Oh, here it we was go. totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourself feel better and justify what you did. Oh my god. This butthole right here. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try um, to hide. Wait. Now pay attention and remember this well. Pay attention, newbie. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. Man! <laughs> your action. Newbie down. Order and stability no, not rely down. on the sacrifice newbie, and responsibility newbie. of everyone. Okay then, <laughs> sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Also, bed bugs are freaking awful. As many times as I've gotten furniture from the second-hand store, I'm surprised I never got bed bugs. Okay. What was that about just now? Mm. He's saying it's our fault what happened. That's pretty cruel, no, man. I'm starting to think Monokuma might not be the ideal BFF. I agree. I, I, I'd still snuggle him. Um, But I'd have to put duct tape over his mouth. I mean, okay, if I snuggled him, does that count as attacking? Because if that counts as attacking, then he'll kill me. But, you know, if it's like, well, it's non-violent. It's not an act of harm to snuggle. So, you know, he definitely seems to be lawful. So I'm not breaking the rules, am I? Giving him a little, like, ear scratch. Our despair has only just begun. Oh, chapter two, everybody. We made it to chapter two. Monokuma sure loves puns. I feel like he'll be the one doing the biting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I woke up uh, the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement, and then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began. Okay, lift your arms up and down. Oh my One, god. One, two, three, four. Newbie paw. Newbie other paw. Other paw. Good paw. Sit. Down. One, two, three, four. Man, Taka is into now it. Way oh. and bend way down. You hear the teddy bear? Down, newbie. Down. Put your butt down. Tighten those muscles. Tighten those muscles, a newbie. Strength, a okay, ready? Hop up. To those young bodies down. Yours. Hop. Down. I have newbie doing the exercises. Doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure to stay healthy! You're the one who keeps... You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Wow, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. <laughs> just to make you exercise. Just to make you exercise. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. Who voice in Monokuma? I'm not sure. Ask the magical Google and let me know. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness. The power can be yours! That sounds kind of like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. 
It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call... Oh, that's me talking. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so hmm. then... I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial, at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. A whole new world? You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids these days get... I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and your ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brand new post-trial world till you explode! With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he's shown up. But a whole new world? Maybe wait... Is he talking about a new... A way to get outside? About that. that seems unlikely. Piece of shit. Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. Maybe he's it. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Noopy. Noopy. I love you. Looking at the bear reminds me that there's Winnie Boot. <laughs> there's a Winnie the Pooh slasher movie, and I hate it. Oh, I heard it was really bad. Like, I got excited because Winnie the Pooh entered the public domain. And I am a fierce simp for the public domain. But, um, I don't know. I, I heard they definitely got lazy with it, right? I haven't seen it personally. Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice all, all that weird in there. Hmm. Sure, it's the untrained eye. It's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. This, that stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here. Let me out! Then he said a whole new world. I thought of that song from Aladdin. And make one wrong move around that bear and he'll eat you in one bite. That's true. So there are trophies and other items. Winning championship and stuff probably came naturally to anyone coming to school here. He's like, yeah. I don't see what he's talking about. Okay. Well, uh, let's get out of this room. Yeah, I would start seeing a whole new world. But then, uh, Disney would come after me. We don't want to mess with that. Mikado, look! The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem the path to the second floor has opened up. It's also of utmost importance to double check the areas we've already know about just in Without case aren't i so clever to think of that i really impress myself sometimes you well i'll leave the school to you oh poor baby i can tell he probably got picked on a lot i mean maybe i'm imprinting on him but <laughs> he really yeah that's right newbie is this what monokuma really meant by a whole new world if so what's up there all right here we go y'all Maybe sit. Maybe down. Maybe wait. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there'll. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. There you go, newbie. Oh, weed man, you just go stand in some corner and wait for someone to come murder you. I'm not into horror, so I have no desire to see the poo scary movie. But even if I did, I'd be angrily uh, uh, adding the creator on Twitter saying you really ruined my childhood because I love the Disney poo. Nah. Winnie the Pooh is definitely a soul animal to me. Just wants to hang out in the woods and eat food. Like, that's very, very me. Right, Newbie? Newbie? You've had quite a few carrots. I mean, they're baby carrots, which is nothing to you. How about you get me a toy? You, I think you have to start working for it. So, Newbie, where's your toy? Get me a toy. Go pick up. Pick up the toy and you may have a carrot. Buy me a toy. Any toy. 
I'll even take a sock. Yeah, maybe. Where's your toy? Can you pick up for me? Also, what is... What is this? This must have been like a place where you could look out in the courtyard and study. Snoopy! At least Tigger was spared from being in that movie. Yeah. Snoopy! Snoopy, where's... Where's your toy? You have to pick up a toy and bring it to me, and then you will receive a carrot. Snoopy! Snoopy! There! Aha! I found the toy! Reality isn't everything. Look, it's a bear! Snoopy, there's a toy. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. It's a force of habit, I guess. Even though it just leaves me with this empty feeling. Alright, so this is probably gonna say the same thing it always says. That's blood, dude! Purple is blood in this game. Mm. That's right, newbie. Just show us your dog already. <laughs> newbie, sit. Like, the mere idea is worse than Banana Split's movie, which I have suspicion uh, was trying to cash in on uh, FNAF's popularity at the time. Oh, yeah. This music sounds like Catherine. Yes. Also, hello, 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 everybody who has joined us. Uh, we are in the middle of a murder mystery involving high school children. Oh, God save their souls. But if you want God to save your soul- No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> that would have been a terrible segue. Martin Luther would have risen from the grave to come at me for that. No. <laughs> I was going to say, if you want your soul to be saved, then join my Patreon right now, so long as you're 18 plus. You get access to all sorts of goodies. So it's patreon.com slash bella.asmr. But we had a whole war about selling favors to get into heaven, so I'm pretty sure I can't use that as a uh, advertising point. <laughs> But yes, if you want to join the Patreon, I will have my eternal gratitude. Thank you. Okay. It's remarkably dusty in here and the lighting is less than ideal. A plus segue. Thank you. Thank you. I'm bowing. You can't see me bow, but I'm bowing. The shelf is covered in dust, but there is a letter. What's this? Hope Speak Academy? It's buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without the permission- Girl! Right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Yes! Thank you! God! Oh, we can't be reading other people's mail. Man, people are dying left and right! I think reading somebody's mail is like the least of your problems. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. Oh, hey, Ranger. So, we got through the first trial. I got a little annoyed at the end when we had to, like, shoot down Leon screaming at us. Because I didn't realize I had to aim and fire, and I was just firing at it the whole time. Like, trying to do some kind of simplified dance dance revolution situation. And I, I got annoyed at the end, I'm not gonna lie. But, I, overall, I did have fun. <laughs> I do wish the interrogation part was a little shorter, but it was alright. Okay, this decision was not easy one to make, but the serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. This is so crazy. Bye. I hope you survive. <laughs> Thanks, Burns. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem Pope's Peak has... Ha I can talk. I can read. Hold on a second. There's a newbie. And he wants he wants me to play with the ball. Hold on, everybody. There you go, baby. Okay. It would seem Hope's Peak has 
stopped functioning as a school, and judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could at least be a year old. So, you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. Yes, Doggy does demand attention. I would love for a portal to open in my room, either my favorite cartoon character or crazy radical version of me to come out of it. If I had a portal open up in my room, I would like to have direct access to Bojangles. That, that's what I would want. <laughs> Plus, if school had shut down, don't you think it would, would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about so this. Words, that must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Of course, that's all assuming this letter is real. However, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. That would be a nice, simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to yeah, us now? Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be useful. Would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. If I had a portal, I would use it to invade Pelotonis' house and play with Newbie. Honestly, you would make streaming a lot easier. <laughs> I'd want direct access to Burger King. There you go. Oh, if I had, like, a portal, and it didn't go to Bedjangles, I would want it to go to, like, the gardening center of a plant nursery somewhere. I would just go and hang out with the plants. Newbie, there's a carrot right there. Newbie. Newbie. Yeah, there you go. The carrot uh, that I threw to him fell underneath, like, this cloth, and he could not find it. My little genius. Okay, if we can figure out why they would have want they why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? I don't think so. Or dot dot dot. Ah, oh, my hands are covered in your slobber, newbie. <laughs> ah, hold on, everybody, I gotta wipe my hands. Oh my god, newbie. <laughs> They have all the books here and not one copy of any of my works. Oh, he sounds like me. Yeah, if I was like super great at writing, I would totally be like, aw, where's my work at? No, I wouldn't be that way. <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn trip by a bunch of amateurs. You just don't get it. Not at all. I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell. Nothing you do is worthwhile. Wow, she is such an asshole. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. No, if you could be any animal, which would I be? A uh, tardigrade. I would want to be a tardigrade. It's pretty hard to kill off a tardigrade. Also, Yamada looks like a chipmunk. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> He's got like that uh, colon three face. That, like, ooh-woo kind of face. Uh, what you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the mighty pulp of my genius. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> You're so full of it. <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak, attack li weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Yeah, same. Alright. We can talk to this guy. This overly serious guy. You're going to hate this, but DDR shooting will get harder and everything else later on, so be prepared. Thank you, Ranger. I'll keep that in mind. Ugh. I hate the shooting part. So it's good to know. 
Wise words, Yamada. I still like Harry Potter despite uh, rattling being rattling. Yeah. Stop talking. I, I like to watch, you know, like Harry Potter theory stuff that, you know, that's all smaller YouTubers and stuff that doesn't support her necessarily. Especially when they're older videos. I don't know, it's nice. There's this one guy, I think. Is it Harry Potter Theory? I can't remember exactly what his name is, but he has a really calming voice. Not particular. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books. It's true, but the content is lacking. No, oh! Nothing. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Mm -hmm. Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss mm -hmm. Fukawa. Fukawa. My bad. Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to the, that garbage of yours. I feel like these two are the different sides of my brain fighting all the time. Your writing doesn't mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Somebody should just burn it all. <laughs> well, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're, you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. Boy on boy, I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. It's all filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Ugh, oh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You've insulted me and you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Two sides of my brain. Hey, Rockley, you wanna stab these idiots? Will these two just get murdered? Nevada Cadabra! <laughs> the shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, newbie brought me a ball. The whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever is in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Probably me. I'm not gonna lie. Probably me. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like the library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Alright. I got a coin! I can buy presents for my friends. Oh, look, there's an outlet. Oh, no. I thought the outlet was a clue. Leave leave it to my millennial brain to be like, ooh, an outlet to charge my phone. Hey, it's okay, big man. I don't want to talk to him. Okay, what's behind the store? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was a stack of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true. I don't really have any reason to check it out. What?! Okay, okay, y'all, uh, the historian in me must protest. One of the best places to get information is in an archive. Like, just the most mundane files can tell the craziest of stories. I'm upset that they're gatekeeping me. I, I don't like that. That was bad. Hashtag, don't tell me where to go. Newbie agrees. Do y'all hear this? Newbie agrees. Hold on, baby. He gave me a ball and now he expects a carrot. Newbie, newbie, you're gonna turn into a carrot. Here, go get the ball again. I know, baby. I know. Alright. Uh, I don't want to go through. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. Probably a nuclear apocalypse. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Now I feel like they're they're trying to uh, like hide something. I don't know. It feels kind of weird that they're gatekeeping me from a lot of places. Sit. All right, let's let's get out of this room. There we go. Oh yeah. By the way, chat, which Harry Potter house would you have been sorted into? The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Sakura, I love you. Hi, Sakura. This must be what he meant by a new world. I should probably take a really close look around. And that's all she's got to say. Okay. Hold on. Here's a carrot. <laughs> No, I can't have the carrot until I get a ball. And honestly, he's not very honorable. So he's not very much like a Gryffindor. Kodo, hey, guess what? I found a pool! There's a pool here! A pool, a pool, pool, pool! 
You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. There's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Ravenclaw? Yeah. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown. A number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have made much more comfortable for Do us. You understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> Girl, that's... that's dark. <laughs> Shihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um, no. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like a type who might not be into that kind of Let's thing. But still, it sounds like the locker room here uh, have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um... It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. She is afraid. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's pretty weird phobia, though. How do goth girls manage to be cute and brooding at the same time? Legitimate question. I don't know. I think they take very good care of their appearance. It looks super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. I'm beyond excited. I'm gonna get kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? Oh, here we'll go into the boys' locker room. And the store is the locker room. Can we go in? Yeah. I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker room. Really? Of course. Really, really? Oh, here we go. Also, that banging sound is newbie playing with his other toy. If you want to unlock the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. Newbie, give me the ball. Man, I missed so many streams later. I have no idea what's going on. Hey, guys. Hey, KG. Uh... I guess just to recap, the quiet girl I was suspicious of tried to kill the baseball guy with the chin hair. Uh, baseball guy with the chin hair was found guilty of killing the quiet, shy girl who is actually a murderess. And the kind of preppy model girl got killed because she tried to curb stomp the teddy bear. I always hear it reminds me of Jimmy Neutron. Uh, sound, sound is choppy. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Is it better now? Do you hear newbies banging? I'm sure that's a pretty good signifier of sound quality. Newbie? Alright. Let me know, KG. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for girls! That's the bottom line! But what if someone opens the door and then somebody else sneaks in? <laughs> Hold on. Newbie. There we go. Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling! <laughs> and it'll all be all... I bet it'd really hurt to get shot by that thing. I think it'd be a little worse than that. But what happens is somebody loans their handbook to somebody else. A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? That never even occurred to me to think somebody could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Then how's this sound? Time for a new rule. As of this moment, learning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. There, so now nobody can give their handbook to anybody else, right? You know, you like that? Uh, you like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. I do not imagine anybody would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. But you know, you seem awfully concerned with this locker room security stuff. It's because you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs! You're at that age where you try humping a plastic bottle! So to keep anything unseemly from happening, 
I have to maintain a rigorous watch. Then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by forcing or by cunning or whatever you want. I hate you so much. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! Yeah, it's a little bit overkill. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. Celeste, Chihiro, want to come out? Want to come with me? There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. I'm sorry. sorry, I'll pass this time. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope somebody else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Honestly, back at my high school and middle school, they probably would have loved to have a Gatling gun. You know, to separate the genders. It would have been like, boys on this side of the bus, girls on that side. Especially if it was an overnight trip. Okay, there we go. Okay, ladies and gents, how'd it go? Did anyone discover anything interesting? Yes, indeed. There's a library! And a pool! A freaking pool! And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment! There is not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Well, hey! There's no reason to get all sulky! Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery! The warehouse and the bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open! The warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, or whatever you want! There's so much inside! Hold on, maybe? Newbie does not like Taka. I guess Newbie is like Rocco. I don't like you, Taka. I'm gonna bark at you. Newbie, come. Newbie. Newbie, come. Here's my boy. So go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills or whatever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Okay, and what about the effing way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, oh, well, um... There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? Nothing? Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You effing people! Who gives a crap if we have a gut dang pool now? Or a warehouse? Or whatever the F? Stop We're around. still trapped in this piece of S school! We need to find a gut dang way out! Now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us! Ad adaptation is key, yes, and for now we must find a way to enjoy our current situation. Whatever you say, you frickin' loon. For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everybody know if you should discover something. So, then. so are we done for today? Yeah, I guess so. Aww. There some seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? I think so. You know, if you were the only boy or girl left in the locker room, it would be a pretty great place to hide a body. That's a good point. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is, it is now 10 p.m. Alright. As such, it is officially nighttime. I'm looking at Newbie. He's so cute. He has like a big smiley face. I'm gonna give you a kiss. I'm gonna kiss you now. I'm gonna kiss you now. Kiss you're my baby. Okay then. Sweet, Sweet dreams. dreams. Good night. Don't, Don't let the bed bugs bite. bite. Alright, guys. And, well, folks. Alright, folks. I'm actually gonna end stream early tonight. Newbie, as you can hear, is quite restless. But also, I've got to get some snow preparations done for the outside. We're about to get like 10 inches of snow, which I know for a lot of folks is not a lot. But as a southerner, that is way too much for me. And <laughs> either way, yeah. So I'm going to end early. Yes, foreshadowing. <laughs> As you can hear. Yep, okay. <laughs> Either way, y'all please stay safe out there. If you got 
three dollars or more to spare and you're 18 plus and become a patron right now get access to all sorts of goodies over at patreon.com slash belladonna asmr or you could donate using super thanks here on youtube all right y'all pray for me i am i am a warm-blooded creature i do not like being cold wait that came out wrong either way y'all stay safe please all right